Because it's not, it's not as simple as just repeating words, understanding the sentence somebody said. Like <clears throat> the cultivation of wisdom and rationality is is more is is deeper <laughs> than hearing somebody say something, say I understand, and then be like, yeah, I get it. <clears throat> but I mean, you can't tell nobody that, you know. Well, you can, like I'm doing, but. It's, it's one thing to, to, to you know, be like, I don't want nobody to hit me in the face and then get hit in the face. And the experience of it and the and the knowledge of it are different things. So I give information out all day. But you got to want to participate. Yo, what's going on, man? That's the big thing. Participate. Practical magic, man. People want to know how to do this stuff. And this is methodological. Okay, I got you. What, what you're asking for is, is how you participate in whatever's going on. I, that's what I like to think you're asking. Some of you are asking, what am I supposed to do? You know, you're looking for someone to tell you what to do. Um, well, I hate that shit. The motherfucker swear that ain't them. Anyways, the three A's of practical magic, okay? Because this is what we go over in the guild. This is welcome week. The doors are open for one week. There's spots open to get into the guild. Because it's going to be closed until next year. Um, we do the three A's. Why? Because they're the most fundamental aspects of any of practical stuff. Okay? Um, <laughs> and inevitably, what people mean is, what do I do physically? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Uh, three A's, excuse me, I'm sorry. Ascension, ancestors, and altars, okay? Why, why, why out of everything that I could teach you practically, why is this what's important for you? Especially if you're beginning, because most of y'all are beginning. What's up, nigga Palpatine? What's the hot stuff? Nah, it's like Bane. Either, either Bane or Jar Jar, nigga. You want into? <laughs> um, all right, Ascension. Okay, remember Ascension, Ancestors, and Altars. Okay, Ascension. First and foremost, you have to understand what the basic work is when it comes to spirituality. Some people confuse the idea of being spiritual with being calm. Like if they could make themselves feel good, they consider that spiritual. That's spiritual. That's emotionalism. Not to say it's not good to be able to do that, I guess, you know, hey, but it's not spiritual. Like, like literally, like by definition, bro, what's spiritual is not physical. It's not to say the two don't influence one another. They most certainly do. But what's spiritual is not physical. So in order for something to be spiritual, it has to be in relationship to the non-physical at the very least. Something that's not physical. Okay? Um, so you want to understand the basic, the basic work, okay? And ascension is a catch-all term for that. Um... Uh, this has got many different names and, and most of the names come from the methodology and, and methodology is going to come with the metaphysics and you can't, like the metaphysics ain't just arbitrary anyways nobody want to hear that though but it's, it is what it is You know, hey, how do I feel good, how do I give myself a better life Bruh, stop Bruh, stop, cause look, as soon as you get money you're going to have a whole new set of problems as soon as you feel good you're going to be on your way to feeling bad. It's up and down. Like, that shit. But you can't tell them that. It's fine. So, ascension, right? In order to understand this in a practical sense, the first A of practical, ma practical magic is ascension. You want to understand what the general work is. How this how this work is, is, is framed in and of itself, okay? Uh, I usually teach ascension and shadow work. They go hand in hand. The shadow work is to help orient yourself. That way you're not moving based on um, 
what, what was generally in the Western world called the seven sins, uh, primarily pride. That's the big, uh, <clears throat> that you're moving, you're making decisions based on that connection with what's beyond the physical, as opposed to moving based on what's going on in the physical. Like you in here, I'm trying to do this to get money. I'm trying to do this to feel better. Your orientation is off, okay? Um, the ascension proper, like that's the navigation. That's the actual work, all right? So I'm always talking about shadow work, but we go over ascension. So you have both the orientation and the navigation because you need both of them to, to execute a methodology. All right, the other two A's. The second one is ancestors. Why do I start with ancestors? I always start people with ancestors. Why do I start with ancestors? Because if you can do ancestors, I guarantee you, I can get, we can get you to any other deity you want to do. It's the most, it's the most basic of non-physical beings that that is familiar. It's the most basic of non-physical things that is familiar. All right. Yeah, it sounds cool to work with the Dark Lord of Shumalasu, but you, like you can't relate to that. And especially if you don't have the orientation to keep the pride out of there, you're going to feel real good about yourself for doing that. And you done fucked up. You done fucked up. Not to say you can't undo what you're doing it wrong, <clears throat> basically. We start you with ancestors. So you can begin to get the concept. You have to understand the concept that you're dealing with, un the underlying concept you're dealing with. Um, and look, my real shit, if you're trying to get a better life, Go fuck with the ancestors, man. They know about life. They know about physical life. Zeus didn't pay rent. Okay? Inky, Inky didn't have to, to, to deal with a baby mama and child support. Okay? Young Curtis. Hey, that's a little bit different now. Okay, so look, if you really want, but but see, it's the thing. It ain't just, oh, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a put this over here and I'm gonna say thank you every day. Mm-mm. You can't just stand next to this stuff, bro. You gotta, you gotta engage with it. It's like the difference between being at the pool and in the pool. See, if you're at the pool, you may not be wet. You can be on the side, you can be on the little chair, you can be in the locker room. Maybe, maybe you at the barbecue or something. You know, you could be at the pool. But if you in the pool, you wet. And you got, you gonna have to get wet. You gonna, have, you gonna have to get wet, bro. It's like the difference between standing next to a girl and embracing her. You just stand next to her. I don't know if you're going to get no pussy. You embracing her? You getting close to that pussy now. Come on. It's, it's, it's easy shit, right? But you actually got to be about it. Like, you can't you can't be, you know, the ancestor tell you to do this. And you're like, well, really, I want to do that. Bro, your orientation is off. Your orientation is off. Like, you playing. You playing. Like, real shit, you playing. Somebody came to you for help. And they say, hey, bro, what you need to do is this, that, and the third. And they say, but what I want to do is this. What the fuck you gonna do, right? Is that it could be so simple. Like real shit, bro. You want to talk about the spirituality ancestors is really far as you need to go. Most of y'all motherfuckers do the shit you do for pride, so you feel good. If you know it, but don't do it, you on the sidelines. Hell yeah, you on you on the sidelines, you ain't the nigga scoring, bro. You ain't getting no points on the sidelines. <laughs> what you talking about? Mm-mm. Talking my ass off and fucking lose my light, boy. So, yeah. Because from ancestors, man, we can get you to anything else. Because in terms of substance, it's the same thing. I tell you, ancestors are the, the, the gods of the physical life. Okay? They're the gods of physical life. But when you're talking about something like... <clears throat> okay, I said Zeus before. If you're talking about something like Zeus, dude, this is these are archetypal. Meaning... It's so far removed. That's like, that's like an ant coming to you to ask you for help about his life in the ant hill. Like, nigga, what? I'm on a whole different ball. I'm in a whole different wavelength. I don't do nothing like that. What are you talking about? How are you even talking to me? How surprised would you be an ant talk to you? What's stop? It's not say so you can't deal with these things, bro. You can deal with any of them. But it's how you approach this stuff that makes all the difference. And if you want to just dip your toe in, hey, man, just fuck with the ancestors. Real shit. There you go. Free game. Just fuck with the ancestors. It's all cool. You don't even have to see. You don't have to do no dark, spooky stuff neither. You you want you like angels? Okay. Okay. That's fine. Ain't no problem. You know, you like the, the, the God of healing lights and stuff? That ain't no problem. Go ahead and do that. You know, but <clears throat> your orientation. 
why are you doing this shit? I want a better physical life. Well, bro, go get yourself a better physical fucking life. I want some more money. Have you tried budgeting? Like, fuck you mean, bro. Niggas don't even budget talking about I want more money. Go hit the lotto. Why you tripping? That's the second A. First A is ascension. Second A is ancestors. Ascension, the basic of the work. What is the work? Okay. Now, look, you can deal with ancestors and never get to the work. Real shit. Especially if you're trying to get better stuff in your physical life. You'll end up trying to deal with the ancestors all the time and never really get to the work. But it's cool. I mean, once again, like I said, you do what you do. Ascension. Ancestors. And uh, the third one is altars. Why altars? Okay, out of all the, the fucking working tools that exist, why altars? One, I'm an altar fanatic. I love altars. I have plenty of altars. Altars is what I do, so it's easier for me to explain it. But if you can understand the fundamental principles of what an altar is, why it is, bro, you can make any working tool. You can make up working tools ain't nobody ever heard of. Because look, the same, the same principles that allow an altar to function or what allows a wand and a thame, a pentacle, or you like the Western words, right? I know what that is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same principle. See, the fundamental principles don't change. How you apply them changes. Motherfuckers looking at, how do I apply this? You don't understand the fundamental principles. I know you don't, because you know how to apply it. But it's neither here nor there. It is what it is. But you know what I'm saying, man? Like, you have to dedicate yourself to this stuff. This is a lifestyle. It ain't some shit like at church. You did it on Sunday, and you, you, you was good. You know, every now and then you might mention God and Jesus, somebody else throughout the week. And then on Sunday, you know, you get in there, you feel motivated and inspired. Like, I don't know. I, mean, I guess if me telling you a piece of shit motivates you and inspires you, go ahead, bro. Jack your dick off to me. Don't care. Hmm. But that <laughs> hey, ain't what this is about, man. If you ain't feeling motivated and inspired, watch David Goggins. He takes his shirts off and runs, tells you things. You hey, get, be strong. Get up there. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I actually listen to David Goggins. So I just know people listen to him. I'm sorry. I'm being a dick. Um, but for real though, if that's what you want, motivation, and inspiration, you'll get it there. You'll get it there. What's the what's the dude? Uh, Joel Osteen. Get you some Joel Osteen. You don't like that flavor? That's Christianity. You don't like that flavor? Get you a get you a uh, Islam Joel Osteen. Get you a Hebrew O. Get you a Santeria Joel Osteen. Cause that's what you need. That's what you need. If you you got to be real with yourself. That's the orienting. That's what the shadow work is for. The orienting to make sure you're not following your bullshit. Look, look man. Look, if you need motivation, get motivation. But if you're gonna jump ship as soon as you're not motivated, bruh. We shouldn't even had you on the boat. Fuck you talking about. Shouldn't even had that thing on the boat. Mm-mm. Like, once again, real shit. You on the bus. Bus driver suddenly don't feel motivated. You stop the bus and get off. What? Exactly. Same difference, bro. It's, 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 it's a lifestyle. This isn't an aesthetic. I know motherfuckers love aesthetic because they don't know what else, how else to shape and build themselves aside what, what clothes they wear it's cool go ahead put your cool shirt on there you go you got the you put the sigil on the shirt all right Who, who's that sigil for oh look at what, 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 what system are they from what do they do who is that can you give me a bit of their theology oh okay no no it's cool you like it you like it no that's great all right nice shirt bro nice shirt you know what i mean like you know you feel when you see a motherfucker wearing a shirt of a band. It's like, this motherfucker don't know the band. But they just like the shirt. That's aesthetics. That's aesthetics. And if, if you're just here for the aesthetics, you know, I like to look spooky. I like to feel spooky. I want people to think I'm mysterious. Motherfucker, be mysterious. See, you... Oh, damn. Damn, that just hurt. Mm. I just realized why motherfuckers do that. Because they're one-dimensional. Because they're one-dimensional. They're shallow. They'd like to be seen as mysterious, but there's no depth to them. So they wear the aesthetic of depth. Gotcha. Mm. Ugh. See, that one won't sit there and say, I just can't understand how anybody would da, da, da. No, I can understand. I can understand. I just can't understand how anybody would. That's, ver that's reverse virtue signaling. That's reverse virtue signaling. Virtue signaling is like, 
Me and my friends, we make sure we donate to the... That's, that's signaling your virtue. Reverse virtue signaling is, I just can't understand how people don't donate. So you're signaling your virtue, but with the reverse, okay? It's the same bullshit. Right? That's what I'm saying. The orienting <laughs> is you will make monuments to your bullshit if you don't know how this works. And be 10 years down the line, been doing it wrong, and now you, now you got to backtrack 10 years. That's on you, though. You know, do what you do. Everybody get there when they get there. Better late than never, right? That's how they say it. Better late than never. <laughs> Look, you're on the last day of life, right? <laughs> and then you get it. Fuck you, me. That's late as hell. I guess, hey, do what you do. Once again, <laughs> do what you do. Things is funny, man. So, yeah, if you can understand the basic principles of how an altar works, you're good. I can tell you right now, it's not vibration. It's not energy. Mm mm. Mm mm. Has nothing has nothing to do with that. Mm mm. You ass backwards and misinformed. I can tell you that right now. You, but you don't set your altar up because of energy. But you don't know how energy works. You don't know what energy is. You a physicist? You even studying physics? No. You picked up the word though. I know, right? Mm mm. It's not energy and particle vibration, bro. Vibration, the, the the principle of vibration has nothing to do with particles. Particles follow the principle of vibration. Hell, every bro, everything in the physical world conceptually is particles. So all that shit's going to follow that principle. It's going to follow all the principles. Vibration is a threefold pattern, bro. It's, you have the, the center neutrality and then the away from the center and the away from the center and the reverse. So it's three positions. <clears throat> that, has, that has nothing to do with particles, bro. It said energy. Niggas don't know what they're talking about, but anybody gets to say stuff. So it's cool. I get it. I get it. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it's basic. Because you think in your altar has to have a particular particle vibrating in it, and that's why it worked? Mom, bro, you tripping. You tripping. You tripping. The niggas who started saying that shit, bro. Like, like when motherfuckers was making wands out of Hollywood. They weren't looking at particles. But they just didn't know enough. But you trying to do what they do and you think they didn't know enough? But stop. See, man, they can just be saying stuff, bro. I can't deal with it. Nah, I can't. I'm a, I'm a dick. I can deal with it. <clears throat> it's not particles and it's not vibration. This is why I always say, what is you? This is why I start with the ascension. Because you have to know what the work is proper. We talking, this is a work of self. This isn't about you having some new thing. A self isn't something you have. See, motherfuckers get caught up in the my, myself, my higher self, my lower self, my vibrational. Mm -mm. You missed it, bro. All that my, that's pride. Once again, the orientation. That's why the shadow work is so important. When we do the guilt, um, it's a three month course, man. Three months. So we're not, I'm not going to give you a folder of fucking videos. All right, um, and work at your own pace. Motherfucker, you don't do none of the shit you're supposed to do at your own pace. You don't do it at all. Fuck you mean your own pace. Nah, get your ass in and let's go. Fuck you talking about? Look, bro, bro if, if it was as simple as getting a folder of videos, YouTube would have been good enough for you. But it's not. Three months, okay? We take an expedition through practical magic. It is not just... You sit in the class and you hear me say something. Once again, you could have done that with YouTube, man. Open your mouth. Matter of fact, don't just listen to me. Listen to a mother, some other motherfuckers who's in the same spot as you are. No, me. I'm so unique. No one's like me. I don't know anybody like me. Maybe you don't know enough people, motherfucker. Damn, I'm such a dick. <laughs> but for real, maybe you don't know enough people. Shit. You say, I don't know nobody like that. Like, you know, most of the people on the earth. Shut up. What about having premises starting from primordial? Does that affect energy? Nah, bro. Energy is a energy is energy's um insular. There's the word I wanted. Excuse me. Insular to the physical world, meaning it's it's something include like this, like um like that question. This is another way you'd ask that question so you can see how ridiculous it is. Not to be mean to you, but I want to show you. Um, that's like asking me, hey, bro, does um does the keychain you have on your car keys affect the fireballs in Super Mario. 
Like somebody asks you that, you're like, nigga, what? That's ridiculous. But that's what I'm saying about energy. The idea of energy is something insular to the way the physical world works. All right. This it has nothing to do with what's going on in the physical world. The physical world is the end result. See, people will hear panic say, you know, physical world is a residue. It's the end result. <clears throat> and then see, that's only that's only the the initial unfolding process because when you're actually doing the practical stuff, and we talk about this with alters, it's not that you're you're making something begin that wasn't already going. You're getting in the flow of something that's already moving and engaging with it. You're getting in the flow of something that's already going and engaging with that. This energy, as much as you say in primordial, it's just going to bring you back to a premises of thinking of the physical. And now you think in physical outward, which is the wrong way to think about it. So how do ancestors take care of the physical world because they start from there? It's not that they take care of the physical world. They can. See, that's like me saying, hey, hey, uh, you, I, you take care of the cleanliness of my house. Mm -mm. No, that's kind of rude. You could, if we had a, an amicable relationship, we had some type of agreement, we had some type of engagement. Yeah, maybe you could. But it's not to say that's what you do. So the ancestors don't take care of physical life. They're the most proxical, not proximal, excuse me, non-physical beings to physical life. They're the most proximal. They're the closest and easiest to relate with. And like I said, because it's not just as simple as reaching out and be like, hey, ancestors, I need some. You know how you treat that family member who only come around when they need some? Are you liable to give it to them? No. No. Why not? Because this motherfucker's a begging ass nigga, right? That's what motherfuckers think this is. This ain't see, that's what I'm saying. If you're doing this to try and get a better life, you're going to miss. And you're going to miss hard. That's why you got the shadow work. That's the orienting. That's to make sure you orient it in the appropriate way. The ascension and the shadow work go hand in hand. Because if you can't orient properly, you can't navigate. But if you can navigate but don't know how to orient yourself, neither one of them are going to work. It's like um, <clears throat> it's like hopscotch, right? <clears throat> now, knowing how to navigate for hopscotch is knowing how you going how you going to hop on them little squares, right? How you gonna hop on the square? One, one, two, one, two, two, one, two. That's navigation. Orientation is making sure you face in the right direction for that to even matter. Cause let's say you know how all the square is supposed to be when you jump, but you face to the left and you miss every single square. Your orientation is off. Your navigation was smooth, your orientation was off. Let's say your, your, your orientation is smooth, but your navigation is off now. You miss all the squares. You facing the right way, but when you're supposed to do one, you do two. You two, two, one, two, one, two, two, two. You miss it all. You miss all of them. So you have to have the, the orientation, the shadow work, and the navigation, the ascension. You have to put both of them together. This isn't about, see, motherfuckers think it's as simple as you learn a few names and some new stuff. And you go, can you feeling good? Now you learn, you, you know, heard some new words you never heard before. It's some Sanskrit, right? You like the Sanskrit? Yeah, it's a, it's a spiritual language. Get you a Hebrew word. Sumerian word? Oh yeah, you say Inky and Enlil, you feeling good, right? I know. That's emotionalism, bro. Like you could have gone and learned calculus. <laughs> you could have learned some new words then. Fuck you be. This is where I've been stuck at. I ain't even go front. Where what where, where is it you were stuck at? The uh because I, I was talking about a bunch of different things. I ain't even gonna lie. But I tell you what, and this is real shit, bro. The guilt. Three month cohort course, bro. It's three months. It's three months. The doors are only open for this week. Until they, after this week, they don't they don't open back up until next year. <clears throat> we go over this stuff. Not only do we go over it, there are other people doing it as well. So you get to hear other people work with other people as well, like minded people. Cause motherfuckers, especially on this in the, on a on a on a. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, okay, that's who I think it is. Yeah, especially on on the self deification path. Because it's so self, there's not necessarily usually a community around it because most motherfuckers are are either completely oblivious to any and everything. And as soon as people you get some people who are a little bit on the level, it's it's typical bullshit. Um and they're more invested in in being together with you than they are in doing the work. 
And so like whether or not you get together with the folks is, is one thing, but these are all people who are devoted to doing the work. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's, that's the difference there. But with, okay. The, the shallow work is the orienting. Okay. This is what, this is what, this is you. It's cause usually when people hear shadow work, usually when people teach it, they only teach shadow, but shadow and personality go hand in hand. What you do with one gonna affect the other. Cause look, shadow ain't darkness. Motherfuckers confuse shadow and darkness. Shadows are cast in the light. Shadows are cast in the light. This that's intimately connected with your personality. See the word? Fuck, bro. That should be killing me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna yeah. But yeah, shadow work is what orients you because it's gonna keep you from being oriented towards bullshit. Towards, oh, I'm living, I'm learning about this deity because I can't wait till niggas hear what I got to say. They're gonna think I'm mysterious. Or um Oh, I, I, I'm going to learn this money, so I'm going to learn this, uh, this this ancestor name so I can get me some money. And I'm going to keep tapping this for money, and I'm just going to be good with the money. Uh, uh, that's 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 inappropriate orienting. And look, this one, because this is what I mean. It's not to say you can't have those things, but you thinking you're going to get them the way you think you're going to get them is what's fucking you up. Bro, I'm telling you, it's only you in your way. And that's why I say, what is you? But motherfuckers be like, huh, what? Like... Because it's not the body and it's not the personality of shadow. It's more than that. It's 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 a larger thing when you ask them that question. Motherfuckers got the school shit, but they think it's a, a single word answer. Like, bro, a you is part of a narrative. It's a, there's a whole context to it. It's not just changing your name on Instagram, bro. Motherfuckers will change that name. <laughs> <laughs> they will change that name. <laughs> Yeah, so the uh, the shadow work is the orienting process. It's, it, it and it's something not that you just do when you're done. It's it's like it's like wiping your ass. First, you got to get good at it, and then you do it for the rest of your life. I don't care how nice you wiped your ass yesterday. You gonna wipe it today? Ain't no good. Ain't no sense in half-ass wiping your ass. Cause what's gonna happen? It's gonna be Mr. Itchy. And then and that's gonna affect everything else you do. Shadow work is like wiping your ass. You gotta figure out how to do it first and then continue to do it. It's a dedication to the process, bro. And, and look, generally, this is why I usually tell people that the measure of how well you're gonna do in the work period is how thoroughly you're devoting yourself to the shadow work part. Because it's like having glasses, bro. You don't clean your glasses off and think you're never gonna clean them. You don't clean your glasses, then the next time you get dirty shit on yourself, because, oh my God, my glasses are dirty again. Nah, that's what the fuck happens. <laughs> bro, this shit could be simple. The, it, it, that's what I'm saying. That's why I like the class. That's why I like the way I got the shit set up, bro. Um, it's because I, I can make this shit simple. I can make this shit simple all day. It's not difficult. But the hard part is the living it, is the engaging it, is the lifestyle of it. Cause sometimes you hit some you hit some shadow work shit, bro. That'll have you out for a week. That'll have you out for a week, bud. <laughs> you got the chest out. Yeah, I'm ready to see, man. I want to see. Oh shit. Nah, son, nah. <laughs> That's just, but it's necessary. It's something you gotta dedicate yourself to. But the other part is ascension. Um, and ascension is the work proper. It's the it's actually cultivating the relationship beyond physical life it's actually cultivating like with christianity for example <laughs> the, the process of ascension in christianity was cultivating your relationship with jesus why jesus is the way none get through the father but through me so you going towards the father you gotta holler at your boy and the degree to which you consistently dedicated yourself to cultivating that relationship with jesus was the degree to which you remained on course <laughs> navigation on course of course right <clears throat> whatever whatever but yeah it, it once again it's the same fundamental principle okay it's the same fundamental principle but <clears throat> in order for that to work and this is why it works for christianity for the people it worked for is because that what you were doing was nested in the same metaphysics so for example if you were to for christians if you were to just switch out jesus with um with nurgle from the sumerian uh pantheon nurgle's the god of the underworld um if you were to just switch out jesus with nurgle not only would the vibe of the dude not mix but nurgle don't fit into the cosmology of christianity 
Okay, so it's not as simple as just picking something and then going with it. I mean, well, I could I could spit at you where it could be that simple, but it's not it's not gonna get you nowhere. Oh God. I really want to say it's not going to get you nowhere. It could, depending on where you're trying to go. Let's be completely honest. To be completely honest, depending on where you're trying to go. But like I said, whatever, it, whatever, whatever thing you're engaged with beyond physical life, and and especially on the self deification path. See, look, if you're on the self deification path, you're doing left hand path. It's not a matter of finding something beyond the physical life. It's engaging. Or, or knowing yourself to be that beyond the physical life. It's like um, sometimes people will have the, the meditations where they come up to a door and uh, they can't get past the door. Maybe somebody's guarding the door. Maybe the door is just locked. And they try all their spooky little astral you know, powers, all their little tricks, right? And they can't get past the door. The reason they can't get past the door, it's archetypal, bro. The reason you can't get past the door is because you don't know you're on the other side yet. Ever seen one of those movies where somebody trying to get into a door and they look through the keyhole and they see themselves over there? It's, it's that dynamic. It's that <clears throat> you're still identified with the thing that don't come. It's uh, a good way of articulating the what it is because it's diminishing your own capacity, which is important in self deification If you're diminishing your own capacity, that's, that's you in your way. You've made yourself way too small. Um <clears throat> Like, I remember in The Matrix, right? Neo was fighting Morpheus the first time, doing the Kung Fu, right? And, and Morpheus is basically tagging his ass. He's like, Neo, why am I beating you? Uh, okay, Neo, right? Uh, your muscles are... Da, 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 da. Your energy is... Da, da. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Do you think that's air you're breathing right now? Neo ain't say shit, because it, it, it was. It was air he thought he was breathing. He brought bullshit to the dope. And he was holding him back. And then he realized it's in his pocket. In his pocket. See, that's like that's the orienting, bro. It's so, it's so significant. <sighs> Motherfuckers think they're ready, they're good enough, and they're cool, and they can just go. It's whatever the fuck. But yeah, it's... it's so you have to see... And, and, and <sighs> it's, it's simple to say, but this, especially with the self deification it's going to go into your metaphysics. It's going to tie directly into the metaphysics. All right. Like, um, <clears throat> like the analogy I like to use, because people play video games nowadays. Uh, video games, uh, th let's say you, you, you turn on Super Mario. Super Mario in Super Mario World is the physical body in the physical realm. Um, outside of that, you have the, the machine world, just like in the Matrix. In the Matrix, you had the Matrix and Mr. Anderson in the Matrix, right? Outside of that was the machine world. All right. Uh, in the video game analogy, it's, um, uh, television, console, hardware, software, controller. Maybe you got a hard drive on there. In the Matrix, uh, in the Matrix analogy, it's, it's the machine world. It's the world where um, the agents are from. It's the world the Oracle is from. All right, <clears throat> it's all that back end. Beyond that, then you have for the video game analogy, you have the realm of the user, the motherfucker holding the controller. So you got the motherfucker holding controller. The whole world the controller's dealing with, the machine world, and then you got Mario in his generated appearance of a place. That's three different densities. <clears throat> so we'll take it back to the door. Oh, I didn't finish the Matrix analogy. Um, outside of the machine world is Zion, or the real Earth, as they had it in the movie. Um, so you got Zion, the machine world, and the Matrix. Three densities of reality, okay? The trick with the door, bruh. <clears throat> um, you got... You got you idea yourself on this side of the door, the door, and the idea yourself you don't quite understand enough to, to know you're on the other side of the door. Um, <clears throat> it's about moving from yourself as Super Mario in the game and understanding the motherfucker holding the controller. And some people will say higher self. I don't like higher self. Um, I don't like higher self because it's going to tend to bring all the bullshit. It's going to tend to have you thinking you breathe in air. And that's not air you breathe in. It's, it's more than a higher self. It's the minute shit, bro. It's in, in the Bookman model because I have a cosmological model I use to teach. Because um, metaphysics is ontology, epistemology, and cosmology. It's literally philosophy. Motherfuckers make it spooky science and they just doing pseudoscience. Um, I, I usually, the term I use for it is genius. Okay. 
Um, and it's not like people when you think higher self, bro, they, they miss it. They just really they took the the God and the devil shit and just put higher and lower self in there, and they just they they're still doing the same thing. That's what that's what's fucking them up, though. This brings to mind for me the concept of the several wills, which is mentioned in the Aquinas version of the Satanic Bible. Uh, if you look at um, I think his name is Agrippa. Uh, Agrippa's occult philosophy. They have uh, the se- the the seven rays, which is which is similar to the the, the that collection of wills. Because um, because in, in real shit though, that's a fundamental map. See, because people will learn that and then they'll be like, okay, now that I know this, how do I apply it to my life? And the how is a methodological question. So that's a fundament. That's fundamental information though. See, the fundamentals and the methodology are different. That's part of what I have to teach people in the course. Because then you'll come in, you like, I know the zodiac signs. Uh, I know the tree of life, Sephiroth. I know the, the 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 chakras and their colors. But how do I apply that to my life? And it's like, yeah, because those that's fundamental information. That's not methodological information. Okay, methodology is something different. You need the fundamentals to understand the methodology. But they're two separate conversations. Like, if I'm looking at a map and I'm just looking at the fundamentals of the map, I'm like, okay, there's the grocery store, there's your grandmother's house, there's City Hall, right? I can show you all those things. But if I'm talking about, and we can have a discussion about it, but if I'm talking about methodology and how to do something, the conversation is different. Because now I'm talking about, I can can say something like, um, take a left turn. That's a methodological, that's wholly methodological, because you don't find a left turn on the map. That's a discussion of how to do something. See, bro, this part, this probably why, this is part of the reason why a lot of motherfuckers shouldn't be teaching this stuff, is because you have to understand some philosophy, like real shit. Motherfuckers just repeat words, just repeat words, and they don't understand none of the fundamentals or the principles behind this shit. They they're so caught up in trying to learn a technique so that they can fix their 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 physical life, and it's like, mm mm, that's not going that's not gonna help. Like but real shit though, look, if you get in line. If you get on course with the work, if you let go of the shit you think it's supposed to be, bruh, stuff falls in line. Stuff falls in line. Shit happens in, in ways you didn't, you would never have expected. But that'd be the problem. You get caught up in what you can expect. And that includes fear. Because fear is another expectation. <clears throat> That's the whole heart and mind of a child thing. It's the letting go of expectations. And so if you're running from some shit, if you're not being authentic about what you do and how you do and who you are to yourself, not to everybody else, not how you, oh, look at me, but like really honest with yourself, you're, you're, you're caught up in some type of expectations. I mean, expectations are natural. You know, you put your pants on and you don't expect them to fall off or, I mean, unless you're sagging, right? No, you, okay. <laughs> you, you, you turn the water on in the shower and your expectation is the water is going to come down and you can take a shower with it. Okay. Expectations are natural, but <clears throat> As the thing is bound, so it is unbound. <clears throat> the same things that allow us to 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 facilitate our life in one in one section will fuck you up in another. Okay, just like just like the knowledge you learn from tennis isn't applicable in the kitchen. Okay, is is it, it, what the spiritual work is, especially since it's dealing with something beyond physical life, doesn't apply the way things in physical life apply. In fact, you get a whole new perspective of physical life when you start to do this shit right. <clears throat> the motherfuckers like they do the thing where everybody's right and everybody can't be right that, that means right doesn't mean anything anymore motherfuckers will say that shit because they scared that they gonna be the nigga that's doing it wrong and they'll spend so much time talking and, duh, 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 duh. and here's a new tip I'm like what bro what okay cool 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 it's, it's, man, look, I'm saying bro that shit be killing me but it's cool though it's cool though the motherfuckers walk around with a pocket full of tips and feel advanced. Nah, but nah. You got a pocket full. You got a pocket full of broken scraps. I'm telling you, bro. All these nights know it's physical life. All these nights know it's. Oh, you probably say all these niggas know it's physical life. Well, I mean, it's understandable. It's understandable. I wouldn't look down on them. Cause look, real shit though. Real shit. If if if, if more people knew. You couldn't be able to even be close to be advanced. They'd be, because my look, man, you go talk to these Christians, bro. These motherfuckers really believe what they say. You may think it's stupid. They really believe what they say. And that's the, that's the crux, bro. 
Because you can come in here and say some do, 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 walk in the room, heavy as fuck, right? You know, saying the God's name, saying the, saying the name with a spiritual technique you heard, right? But don't really believe none of that shit. That's the difference. See, that's why I'm not going to shit on none of these dad niggas. These dad niggas are research. Not why, like, like I tell people, watch Hoarders. Not because I'm making fun of the the, 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 the dude sleeping in the trash, right? I mean, it's kind of funny. You know, I, I get the funniness, right? I'm going to laugh. But <clears throat> it's not because I'm better than them. That's shadow work shit, bro. That's how shadow work is. You, you done been in that bullshit for so long and told yourself it's comfortable. You don't smell the smell. You don't smell the smell. And, and see, because that's what I'm saying. That's why I tell people to watch that shit. The motherfuckers look at them motherfuckers and be like, that could never be me. Mm -mm. Wait till we get in that shadow work. That's exactly you. Fuck you mean. That's exactly you. Let me try and take some of that shit out there. No, no, no. I need it, bro. I got to turn it back in the house. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I like clockwork. Uh, do they really know it, though? <laughs> they don't need to. Like, look. In order for me to play Super Mario, I don't need to know how that shit works. I don't need to know a lick of code. See, some motherfuckers going around trying to get information from here, 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 here to feel better because they think when they get more information, it's going to make it better and easier for them to do this shit. That's not the case. That's not the case. There, there could probably be niggas who know programming and suck at video games. There could probably be a nigga who know how to fix a car, but it's shit they're driving it. it, it those are two different conversations. But, but once again, it's, that's that's a philosophical point. Most of the motherfuckers who are teaching this stuff, it's metaphysics. No, it's not metaphysics, but they'll say it. Because everybody can say anything. Talk is cheap. <laughs> Talk is cheap. So yeah, bro, we go, we go over the three A's. Ascension, ancestors, and altars. When you have the fundamentals on how these work, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. Because it, 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 I can't make it no more fun. I'm going to keep trying to make it more fundamental. Just watch. But, bruh, because I'm telling you right now, when I come up in this shit, I ain't none of that. I ain't no, I ain't none of that understanding. It was, nigga, do you believe this? That was it. That was look, bro. Imagine being in a dark room, and you got the feeling in your chest. I know which way I need to walk, but you hear the scary now noises. You see the weird lights. You start to smell like blood or some shit, right? All the fear come up. Do you do you believe what the fuck you say? Oh, so so now you don't believe because you're scared, and you got to make a choice. That's the moment of truth. See, most people when that moment comes up. All the spiritual shit? Oh, that's a hobby again. And they run. And they run. And you know what? Go ahead. Cool. I get it. I understand. There's scary shit out here. I'm not saying the shit, you're not supposed to have no fear. Fear is fear is natural. Fear has its utility. I'm not saying you're wrong for fearing what you fear. If there's a tiger, and it's got them teeth, and it's hungry, you got a reason to be afraid. You can have all the reason in the world to be afraid, but whether or not you're gonna face it is a different it is a different point. And even if you have all the reason in the world to fear it, you still gotta face it. That's 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 bro, that's par for the course. That's par for the course. But motherfuckers will miss that shit because they're busy trying to feel better, trying to have the things they want in physical life. So you'll miss it. You'll miss it. And then motherfuckers will cap be like, no, no, Aries, I ain't here for no physical life stuff. I'm about to get to work, right? Get in there, hit that shadow work a little bit, but them asses is running. <laughs> them asses is running, boy. It's cool, though. I don't mind. You know, you're right. Look, kids going to run from shit. It's how they work, you know? But you know where to find me, man. I'm going to be where I'm at. Daddy's home. Shit. What fuck you talking about, man? I'm going to just laugh. You, you got to give me my pound of flesh. I'm going to laugh when you run. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Damn I got shit I run from man Look Shadow work don't stop That ass is gonna be shitty tomorrow I don't care how much you wiped it today 
But you wiped it good today. You was impressed with yourself. You're like, damn, ain't nothing on the toilet paper. I did. <laughs> Shit. But you used a wet wipe and everything. You real impressed now, huh? It's coming back tomorrow. And not because something's wrong. Look, that itchiness. Were you walking funny? That's because something's wrong. Not the fact that there's going to be shit there tomorrow. That's the different, the different conversations. Philosophy is thinking about your thinking. Niggas say all is mine. Have no idea what that means. Assume it means you're thinking and then still be wrong. How you double wrong? I know. I know. I know how you double wrong. I know. I'm being a dick. I'm being facetious. I know how you can be double wrong. <clears throat> Well, motherfuckers out here ass backwards trying to teach this shit. And they'll sell you a feeling because you'll buy it. Because you'll buy it. So they're not wrong for it. They're not wrong for it, bro. Motherfuckers will sell you a feeling because you'll buy it. Now, out the gate, boy, I ain't got no feelings for you. I'm going I'm, to I'm shit on you a little bit. <laughs> I ain't gonna say peace family because we ain't no family. Fuck you talking about? Oh, shit. I'm not gonna promise you a good life. Look, if anything ever gets better, it'll get a lot worse first. If anything ever gets better, it'll get a lot worse first. I can guarantee you that. Oh, I even hate saying it because I know it's the truth. I'm, I have to live it myself. Boy, anything get better, it's gonna get a lot worse. It's going to get a lot worse, bro. And one way you can interpret that is the test to see whether or not you about it. But I, I, I think in a, in a larger sense, it's um, it's it's the the loosening of the tension that you were tethered with is because it's basically the old idea yourself got to die and not just once. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. <laughs> You think it's out here, boy? They ain't got no, they ain't got no gumption, boy. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Every day, something you thought was you, you couldn't live without. Gotta go. Gotta die. Otherwise, look, if you're gonna be something that's bigger, you're not gonna fit trying to hold on to that other shit. It's just not gonna happen. Hoarders, bro. Bro, I got all that trash in this house. Bro, I got all that trash. Doo doo rappers newspapers all that shit right but then he talking about oh one day i want to have a family where they gonna live so you want both things at the same time right you yeah, i want both but you're playing fuck you talking about it gets worse in the physical world for flesh but spirit is already yours i don't know what you mean by yours i say you put it in the in the um what's my parentheses quotation marks I'll say, good look, bro. Cause look, man, I'm. I don't want to give you the impression that shit is sweet on any level. On any level, I don't want to give you the impression that shit is sweet on any level. You are gonna find yourself lost for long periods of time. You don't know what to do, how to do, what's supposed to go on, and you still gotta stay on course. You be in the fog. Oregon Trail type shit. You in the fall. Y'all going. You got somewhere you know you're supposed to be going. Can't see. Can't see ahead of you. Feel lost. Don't know what to do. Ain't got nobody you can talk to. Well, if you're in the guild, you got cohorts. Other than that, though, because I know, been out there, don't got nobody to talk to. <laughs> as soon as you talk to somebody, you sound crazy as hell. <laughs> Them bugs tear your ass up. Oh, out here? Hell yeah. I think only a little bit. I'm mostly I'm mostly moving around because I kind of want to roll up again. Fuck the time out. <laughs> oh shit! Well, no, it ain't even that bad out here, and my skin probably kind of dry too. I need to moisturize. <laughs> too busy wiping my ass. <laughs> oh, I'm a piece of shit, man. <laughs> Oh shit, now that made the shit long, bro. What are you trying to make the shit long, bro? <laughs> All right, then. I'm going to wrap this up. The three A's, bro, okay? We go over the three A's. Spirituality is not just feeling calm, feeling comfortable, thinking positive. Motherfuckers be out here with that positive bullshit, that toxic positive bullshit. I'll just transmit my negative thoughts into positive thoughts 
and then you'll overdose on positive. You'll never be equipped to deal with negative. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. Triggered. Mmm. The three A's of practical magic, okay? The first A is ascension. And ascension goes hand in hand with the shadow work. Shadow work is the orientation. Ascension is the navigation. You have to know what the work is proper underneath. It's not melanin, sunlight, fancy breathing. All right. Those are those are tools. That ain't the work. All right. That ain't the work. And sometimes people, you can have the tool and use the tool wrong. You ever seen a girl use power tools? Let's stop. <laughs> because you got the tool, it don't mean you're doing it, bro. And some folks, you know, because they, 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 as soon as they feel a certain way, they think I've done it. And so once they feel it, I feel good. I feel great these days. I must have done it. No, you just feel better, kiddo. Because watch, what goes up must come down. <laughs> fuck you mean you feeling up and good you going down right this is that's just that's feelings bro that's not spirituality so you have to understand what the work is and how to put yourself in alignment with reality beyond the physical world just saying energy that's physics again you missed it some particle vibrating some kind of way you missed it again right deep breathing mm -mm, that's not going like look meditation is wonderful guys it's a beginner practice. It's a beginner practice. That's like, that's like not even a, not even a, a bicycle with training wheels, bro. That's like the big wheel, the plastic one for Fisher Price. That's low to the ground. Then look, man, you you see some you see a, you see some folk out here stunting on a big wheel, bro. They ain't got no bike with training wheels. No, I'm talking about like I get it, it's it's part of the necessary process, but if you somebody been you know, sitting around 10, 20 years and you go, can you meditate? That's like seeing a grown person on a, on a, on a big wheel. Okay. So look, it's, and then, cause some people will do the meditation and they just get to the stillness, right? They just get to the quiet and they try and focus on that and they stick there. And that's as far as they go. That's what I'm saying. This is a beginner's tool. It's to, it's setting the table. It's setting the table. That ain't even the food, bro. That ain't even eating. And let alone the cleanups, you can do it again. Bro, you just set the table. Like, it's... Mm. But once again, people usually look for something to do so they can feel a certain way. I watch Bernie and Friends, bro. Lamb chop play along. That's old school right there. That's old school. Lamb chop play along. Little puppets and shit. Go watch that, bro. You feel real great. You feel real great. Maybe do meth. I don't know. I heard meth is really good. You know, try some meth. Opioid addictions out there. Get that. You'll feel great. You know, do that if you want to feel good. Spirituality, it's going to kick your ass and you get to doing it, bro. It's going to kick your ass and you get to doing it. So, I mean, <laughs> but that's supposed to. Morpheus, why do my eyes hurt? Because you haven't used them before, Neo. That's all. That's it. That's it. You just ain't used the shit before. Once you get to using it, just like waving your ass, once you figure out how to do it, it's par for the course. It has to be a lifestyle. You gotta, you have to dedicate yourself to doing it. You can talk shit all you want to about Christians. I know a few of them. They dedicate their life to Jesus. Not to say they don't ever mess up, because you're gonna mess up too. They dedicate their life to Jesus. They got Jesus all over the house. Jesus in the car. They turn on that radio. Somebody singing about Jesus. Shit. Hey, yo, do some crime. You want to feel good? Do some crime. You know. People love, it's good to be bad sometimes. <laughs> you little rebels. I'm rebelling against the world. Don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> you ever see that meme where the motherfuckers is partying and they got the wood dude in the corner, right? That's how that's all these little rebellious motherfuckers be in the corner. I'm rebelling against all of this. The world will know my. Don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> People look at my Instagram and they think I'm mysterious. Let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> niggas got look. Niggas got 300 followers, right? And then 25 of them engage, and mostly just a hit. But right? nobody pay attention. Nobody care. You gotta already be looking for it. When the, when the, when the students ready, the teacher appears. 
it's par for the course. Once again, motherfuckers don't really believe that shit. They just say it. Don't forget not to keep your water running. It's Monday. Wait, what? What's what's the water running? What do you mean? You got me thinking it's a freeze warning, but then you don't even live in this state. I'm like, what you talking about? <laughs> oh shit! Good to see, good to see, Venetian. <laughs> keep your water running. What you talking about? Oh shit! Oh. I'm sorry. The three A's. I'm supposed to be wrapping this up. The three A's. The first one's ascension. The second one is ancestors. Why ancestors? Hey, yes, I want to work with. This, this, this. Slow down, kiddo. Slow down. I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. Slow down, okay? Slow down. It's great to have aspirations. You want to understand what this, what the work is. You want to understand the fundamental principles that make this shit possible. Because this was going to happen. I tell you what to do. You get two steps in. You turn around like, well, how do I do this? And why is this? And why is this? This is why you want to know the principles. Because if I set you up and know how to fish, I don't have to catch fish for you. I want to show you how to fish. But Arius, I just want to fish. Why do I have to learn all this pole? What do you mean fishing line and, and tackle and... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not going to give you fish all the time. What if I want to fish? Shit. You need to learn how to get some fish. I'm going to teach you how to fish. And you got to understand the fundamental principles of it. I can't just give you the pole. Like, motherfuckers walk around flexing a pole. Ain't called no fish, right? But don't nobody know that. Don't nobody know that. They let that tackle box look good. You got all little sparkly things in there. You got the state of the art fishing pole. You walk around with it on your shoulder. What's going on, y'all? Oh, yeah, I know about Kundalini. Yeah. Yeah. Chakras. Mm hmm. Vibration and energy. Hey. Just walking around showing it off. Don't remember how that's supposed to work. Ain't caught no fish. Fuck you mean? Ain't caught no fish. And look, motherfucker want to catch fish till the fish that's real too big come around. Swallow your ass up. Then what you gonna do? Don't have no fundamental principles. Don't know what none of this shit is. What you gonna do is run back to what you used to do. That's what everybody do. You gonna run back to what you used to do. Start with ancestors, bro. Because look, for the most part, most people who are actually even slightly interested in this, ancestors is as far as you really want. Y'all motherfuckers ain't really about making this a lifestyle. If you want a little extra aesthetic, go to the ancestors, bro. You at least get a little bit of return. Because you're probably only going to do a little bit of the work. But the third A is altars. All right. I work with altars. I love altars. Altars work with me. All right. So I know see, I know how to tell you about it. I know how to teach it to you. But if you understand the fundamental principle about why an altar is what it is, why it works in the first place, you can make any other working tool. Every, All of them work the same. They all have the same principle. And it's not energy vibration. What are you talking about? You gonna have to slay that water dragon. Which water dragon, bro? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, you know you gotta be thinking about different things. That water dragons in it. If you understand the fundamental principles of how an altar works, you can do any working tool, and it's not vibration. Guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't subconscious mind. Y'all get that subconscious mind bullshit out of here, bro. That shit, that's just, that's trash. It's trash. It's trash. And this is why I'm going to tell you it's trash. Because it's made up. You go to the psychological literature, ain't no subconscious mind. It's a conscious and unconscious mind for a reason. Motherfuckers is quick to say ego, but don't know none of the psychological psychological literature that comes from. Don't know none of the framework. It's like how a motherfucker will say Inky and don't know none of the pantheon. Don't know the metaphysics or the cosmology of that shit. But it's popular to say. Motherfuckers say ego, but don't know the psychological framework that comes from. Subconscious mind ain't no psychological framework for that. So that's not how altars work. Subconscious. Nope. Nope. Okay. So you get the three A's. Ascension. General work. It goes hand in hand with the shadow work. Ascension is navigation. Uh, shadow work is orientation. You need both. If your navigation is on, your orientation is shit, you're lost. If your orientation is on, your navigation is shit, you're lost. You need both hand in hand. Ancestors is the second A. Why ancestors is the most proximal thing. Okay, the most proximal, proximal non-physical being you can engage with. All right. No sense in jumping you up to the dark Lord Schumann the Chum Chum that you don't know nothing about, but you you don't be talking about it because you feel good and you think Christians don't like it. <sighs> Like, slow down. 
All this shit makes my head hurt. Bro, take a Tylenol. Take a Tylenol. And then take your time with the information, bro. Take the time with the information. See, this is why I go through the fundamentals. This is why I go through the fundamentals and we do it all the time. I go through the fundamentals and we do it all the time. Because this is more than just listening to somebody say something and then you have some, oh, I get it. Mm -mm. School didn't even work like that. You have to engage the information. You got to test the waters. You got to stumble a little bit. And that's part of what the guild is for. It's a safe space to stumble. It's a safe space to stumble. So you get in there and you stumble a little bit. So your head hurt because you're trying to eat the whole thing at once and you don't really know how to chew yet. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. Slow it down. Take your time. And because look, you're going to find out what you're really in here for. You think you know what it is. You think you know what you're supposed to be doing. Just like that little, little ass of five year old. They think they know what they're supposed to be doing. They think they know how shit go, but they wrong. And it's not because something's wrong with them. That's part of how you grow up. So yeah, bro, look, if this shit hurts your head, take a Tylenol, drink some water and slow your ass down. <laughs> oh shit, Ascension, ancestors and altars. <laughs> altars like i said it's not because you have to do altars all right and we can have all kind of discussions about altars but it's so that if you understand the fundamental principles of how an altar works you can do any working tool and really the reason altars are good because there's such a variety of them they're so widespread it's such a large general category um <clears throat> that it's easier to to begin engaging with and once again you gotta start with the basics you gotta start with the basics Motherfuckers want to jump to Kundalini Awakening. Shut the fuck up. So dumb. Boy, be on that back oil, boy. They on that back oil. That spooky back oil. Ascension, Ancestors, Altars. Three months of classes. We go through this. There's all the room in the world to ask questions. But what I find, even though there's all the room in the world to ask questions, motherfuckers don't want to ask questions. They want to ask a question. No, no Diddy back on it. Well, yeah, we don't leave Diddy alone, boy. <laughs> Motherfucker super on Diddy, boy. Uh, uh, what's his name? Who's supposed to kill himself in jail? I ain't, ain't heard nothing about that guy, though, but we hear about Diddy. What's up? I ain't even listening to him. <laughs> um, what the fuck was I talking about? See, you got me all over the place talking about no Diddy. <laughs> yeah, the fundamentals. The, the basic understanding. Cause even, like I said, there's all the room in the world to ask questions. Don't don't know what to ask. Don't know how to ask questions. That's like basic. That's like basic stuff. So I'm gonna. You have a problem with it here. I know you have a problem with it learning other things too. So that's like, like basic human stuff. But when, once again, we can work on that. It's usually fear. I'm, I'm scared to look stupid. If you think you look smart being silent, fuck out of here. I'm, I'm silent and mysterious. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Tyler, all the work, bro. <laughs> had a breath. Had a breakthrough today, and it's my mom B day. Oh, I remember you was talking about your mom. I've been running away from love because I ain't think my mom loved me. Even if even if she come up and tell you she got your back, right? It's hard to it's hard to feel that, Bruh, It's the shadow work, right? See, see more, see more than a girl, bro. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. You gotta keep working on it, bro. And it comes up, and you get layers of it. Shit, you didn't even think was the thing, or even could be the thing. Bro, I'm so serious. And see, come on, fucking slip quick to be like, no, I'm unique and different, and nobody's problem is like mine. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But stop. I wish I had money every time a nigga said that shit and it was wrong. <laughs> and nigga show up too, but nigga still scared to talk. But it's all right though. That's why I fuck with Seymour. Seymour open his mouth and say something, man. That what you need. Say something. Don't be scared to look dumb, but actually be working towards something. You know, trying to figure things out. That's that's the big part of making this a lifestyle. But you have to be trying. You have to engage. Like imagine somebody wanted to 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 have a relationship with you and didn't try. Well, you wouldn't fuck with them. But yet there's still motherfuckers want to do dip their toe in and get all the results. It don't nothing work like that, bro. See, that's basic delusion. That's that's the shadow work, the orienting, the orientation. So you're trying to chase some delusional thing, you always gonna be off course. 
when you got your expectations in there, you expecting somehow for that delusional thing to work out. And so now you feel bad. You're not motivated. Now you go got to go get motivated again. See, that's why I don't motivate nobody. You niggas over here delusional as hell need extra motivation for stupid shit. Ugh. I contributed that breakthrough to being in the guild. Well, hey, man, look, I'm glad to have helped. But I'm, I'm going to say it. Even, though, even if it hits my bottom line, the, the biggest part is you leaning into it. You leaning into it. Opening. Opening up and actually looking at the shit. Taking your time with it. Examining it. Spending. Because look, you type motherfucker who will, they be at work thinking on this shit. For days thinking on this shit. You're supposed to. See, some motherfuckers want to treat it to where they only think about it when they get into the session. Mm-hmm. Outside of the session, it's just all the regular bullshit. They don't even lean in. They just come in here for some motivation. So they can go back out and do the same bullshit again and wonder why don't nothing change. I'm telling you, bro. So, yeah, I mean, I'm glad to have helped, and I'm glad the Gil helps. Um, but big thing is you leaning in, man. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I'll make sure I give you flowers, bro. And hell yeah, please cry for an hour if you have to. <laughs> bro, real shit. That's like that's like one of the best releasing tools. Like even after you done, bro, shit feel like all this is clear. All this is clear. <clears throat> You're asking when it's gonna stop. <laughs> you already know what I'm saying. <laughs> that shit don't stop. Oh man. <laughs> It don't stop, bro. It keeps coming. There ain't no break. You roll the dice, the game is on. Know what I'm saying? It. Look, look, motherfucker looking for, I want to feel good. What? It's going to hit. It's going to hit good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> write a song. What you write a song about what? For what? Either what are you talking about? <laughs> you be saying stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, and, and just like I keep mentioning the shadow work, we deal with shadow work every week, every week. Now it's up to you whether or not you come to the sessions. And it's up to you whether or not you review it, and because I give you the audio recordings for all the sessions, so you have the like you can come in, never pay attention, never show up, and get all the audio recordings. You see, if, if that's how you work, though, you probably ain't never going to get around to listening to them. Ain't never going to get around to doing it. And that's not a spiritual issue. That's just you don't actually show up for yourself. You don't actually do what you say you're going to do. See, that'll be in the shadow work. Because talk is cheap. Motherfuckers can say things all day. But do you show up for yourself? No. Somebody else, you show up for somebody else because you want their validation. But you can't give yourself no validation that's valuable? No. I know, I know the answer. It's fine. The uh, song is called Crabby a River. Too late. Justin Timberlake got it. Look, you got to get a copyright strike. <laughs> ah, technology going to be good. Boy, you sit the whole working on a song. <laughs> get, technology, get the copyright strike. Uh, uh, Cry me a River. Hell no. Nah, boy, go ahead, man. Get it in. Get it in, man. Fuck. Because this shit... Man... See, I don't be talking. I just don't. See, I don't even use people's stuff for content, bro. We have good shit in there. I don't use that shit for content, though. That's theirs. That's for them. They can come and share if they like to. I, I always love it. But I, I, I don't go out of my way to share people's stuff. I, I like to keep the names quiet. And I only talk about the situation if it's pertinent, man. You can show up today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow for what? The guild, the, the doors for the guild to open up for the rest of the week. <clears throat> but I don't know what you're talking about. So for day and tomorrow. Oh, maybe you offering to make him a song. Ethan does beats. He's a, he's a producer. Right? Look, I got your plug right there, man. You like that? <laughs> well, you should clip just that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Put a little beat on it. Hey, man. He's the producer made my beat. It was fly. It was fresh. Look, clip just that part. You make you real. <laughs> make you a real, bro. Be promoting the beats. Uh, all right. 
uh, yeah, that's it, man. I already made this shit way too long, bro. Probably gonna be a misunderstood artist when people like your shit when you're dead. Look, bro, most most people who who are creative and create things, nobody knows about. You want to you want to you want to be you want to you want to see an example of that? Go to the dollar store. Look how many books in there. Fictional books. Somebody put their heart and soul into creating something that's in the dollar store. Look at the Walmart uh, value bin. If you really want to create, do it at the risk of ending up there. Don't do it thinking, oh, I'm definitely going to... That's expectations. Mm -mm. That means you creating so you can get all that. Uh -uh. Create because you want to create. All this Hollywood fame shit got motherfuckers, they don't want to create unless they're going to get rich. Like, bro, like, some motherfuckers won't sing unless they sound like Beyonce. Bro, sing. Do what you do. All the birds in the forest sing, not just the ones who sound the best. All I'm saying, get your ass out there. Do what you do. But some motherfuckers don't want to do it unless they get massive approval. Who's your God, bro? I know. No, it's not like that. Yeah, it is. But stop. Create because you want to create, not expectations. Exactly. Like, yeah, create and don't look. Create some shit and don't even show nobody. Right? Create some shit and don't even show nobody. Oh, look, when you create it, walk there. Hey, man, what about this is trash? Like, don't even ask them if they like it. Just like, hey, man, what about my what about my music is trash? Here, listen to these beats. Can you listen to my beats real quick and criticize them for me? Like, slay the fuck out of me, please. Hey, can you listen to this? Listen to my song. Tell me if my rap is shit. Like, you don't never hear nobody do that. Like, hey, man, hit my SoundCloud, man. Let me know you like it, bro. Nah, nah. What if I don't like it? Now I got to sit here and deal with that. You don't even, even want to hear me say that. You should have you walked up to me and asked me, hey, bro. Can you, can you check out my rap and see if it's trash? I want to see what's trash about my rap. No shit. Then you got something to grow off of. Don't nobody want to grow. They want to feel better. Whatever. This is it. This is it. Have a good night, guys.